this was a guy who'd got in who I'd been, I'd had no respect for, for, you know, for a long time. I'd interviewed him as Ali G. Yeah, prior to the whole. Yes, he was on my radar. So wait a minute, that guy becomes the president yeah. and he gets, gets to be the president through adopting and pushing forward these despicable views that were so reprehensible that everyone dismissed him and thought there's no way yeah. that he'll get to be president because of that. That was so upsetting. And then also those first um, 30 or so days of the presidency were so unsettling when he was with Bannon and oh, yeah. the, it was kind of this shock and awe uh, policy where I remember, you know, Saturday morning, there was suddenly a ban on, you know, these countries, yeah. which happened to be Muslim countries. Right. You know? And it was completely unsettling. And you, I think people felt powerless. And I thought, I have to do something just for myself. I did not, right. I did not for a moment think they would have any impact. But I thought, I have to do something with this anger and frustration. To get yourself out and of disgust. that. And yeah. disgust. I have to do something. I was feeling anger, rage, disgusted. Therefore, I now have to do something because I'm responsible to act in a way that gets me back to the vibe that I want to be. That's what FI is responsible right. for. And it doesn't mean that you're good at it. doesn't mean that you rock right. at it. It just means that you're like, oh my God, I'm still going to keep going to work to eventually get myself back to the emotional state that I want to be in. And I did see enough for S versus N. And then like when he would say, for example, Trump does all this reprehensible stuff and then just moves on. Right, doesn't give you any now, examples. And that's just- that's Didn't just, prove it. There, there you go. That's just one example yeah. of many times where he's not giving examples. He's right. just giving you an overview of Trump does abusive shit to people. Moves on. Yeah. And, and it's not that like a censor dominant wouldn't say that because they're like, look, there's there's fucking enough proof. <laughs> or maybe they know the context of like Don like knows that there's proof or whatever. OK. But I'm just seeing a pattern of behavior that. There you go. That there's many examples, all of which I cannot point to rather than like <laughs> barely one. There you go. You're not that, responsible to no, prove. No, no. I'm just seeing yes. the concept of several different times I saw him, none of which I can remember the examples. This is where the intuitive struggle is because they're like. I've already seen the pattern. I just can't prove it. I don't remember those parts. Right. But yeah. yeah. But it, but if you play the next random clip, it doesn't matter. You'll see. You'll see you'll your see pattern that, that yeah. you're seeing. Absolutely. You'll see that he will make a point and not give you sensor backing it up. And so the thing that is working mm -hmm. more and more for us for typing is you got to get down to two things. One is where am I doing that in my life? Yeah. So let's just say S and N. Let's just do a little 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 commercial break on a little fucking <laughs> stupid lesson here. So it's like, like it's working so much more for me when I can get down to where, like, where am I being sensory dominant? And I'm, and I'm finding, like, as I'm getting older, especially with masculine sensory, I think it's more that rather than like any self growth on my part. Yeah. I think it's like I am finding myself. There is one out of ten times where I am the ISTJ, where I will fucking argue you yeah. over the sensor. I'm like, hey, you're making a point. You're being, you're being too abstract. You're jumping around, or and you'll you're, be weird about the wording. You're, 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 you're off on the wording. And therefore, I have to stop you and interrupt you and be like, that was a freight train, not a semi truck. You're like, just get my concept of a, a large force moving downhill. I'm like, well, it wasn't a semi truck. It was a freight train. Or I know. Way. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. The wording matters. Right. So it's like, OK, so that's an example of where I'm in the role of being the lead sensor. You're being intuitive. You're trying to make a point, I'm an overview, a concept. And I'm like busting your balls on. Hey, we want to get this this straight because if somebody wants to take that and if they got their facts all wrong, it's not going to it doesn't right. make any sense. Right. And so obviously I know what it feels like from the other side of like, oh my fucking God. Stop st telling me so many details. You're freaking me out. Stop I'm not going to be responsible for all this. Yeah. It just feels like yeah. somebody's opening up a book and just reading it randomly. Like, what is this about? In the where, middle of the book. Where are we going? What, it's a sensory book. Yeah. But it's like, yeah. for him, I'm like, what void is he leaving me? Or where is he annoying me? Mm -hmm. uh, where is he bothering? Like something I'm like, he's not giving me enough examples. He's saying things. That I happen to agree with as well. I know, right. As a whale. As a whale. <laughs> but if I had to actually back this up, I can't. So so all you are saying, in a nutshell overview, <laughs> all you are saying... As I censor talk in circles. Let's wrap it all your time. together. Overview this bitch. Um, it's, it's just that you... I mean, technically, you're double deciding. You're finding a way to put yourself in their shoes, feel what that feels like, what they're trying to get at, back up and go... That either annoys me or I hate that and being able to see what that thing is. As well as double observing because you have to see what is the point or what is the value of that point of view. Of that information. Of, of that information. Of yeah. that information. Like why is sensory the right thing to do in all of these contexts? So you know? what would be a problem if you go to type and you cannot get outside of your own perspective? If you're playing the game of like, no one would do that. I wouldn't do that. Then you're never able to hear 
what the other person is genuinely saying. And this is where I see so many people getting stuck because not able to get outside of their right. own functions. They can't believe that someone would be legitimately stuck on observership right. if they're a decider. Exactly. Or legitimately stuck on feelings if they're a savior. That's feeling. all I see. Yeah. I, I, don't, I do not see, I haven't met anybody out there that is having a hard time learning to type because of the information. Oh, yeah, no. You wrestle around with the information, even our shitty way of teaching it. Within three months, you can get a good grasp on it. Yeah. All I see with our own selves and everybody else is can't get out of your own fucking point of view for 10 seconds long enough to actually see and hear what the other person is actually saying. Completely. Because our projections from our saviors are so intense it is so hard to turn them off for 10 seconds yes. to really, really, really see Which what's going on. why so, every yeah. conversation people are doing this. Yeah. Like every interview. It's so fucking Which crazy. is what is so great about typing is that it is so hard. Yeah. Where else do you get a chance to go, all right, I have to like get out of my fucking point of view for 10 <laughs> seconds. Know. By the way, you should have to fucking take a nap when you're done. It oh, is God. It is so exhausting. I remember the early To not year. be yeah. in your selfish savers. It's just it's so true. <laughs> You said Vader betrayed and murdered my father. Your father was seduced by the dark side of the Force. He ceased to be Anakin Skywalker and became Darth Vader. So what I told you was true, from a certain point of view. A certain point of view? Luke, I know you think you can't trust me. That I'm a liar, you just shouldn't believe. But please know it's all true, from a certain point of view. You said your name was Ben. Well, it's Obi-Wan. You said my dad was killed. Close, now ain't this fun. Because technically it's true from a certain point of view. Point of view? It's true from a certain point of view. So you see, Luke, it all depends on how you look at things. Well, could you at least tell me if Leia's my sister? I kind of have a lot riding on it. Yoda, my friend. Oh, no. After you, Obi-Wan. Did we forget to mention the answer to your question? Yes, it's true from a certain point of view. Could you be a little bit more specific because we kind of made out. Ooh, sorry. Uh, yes, she's totally your sister. Mm, sorry about that, I am.